Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Raid Shadow Legends and today is a challenge type of video. Uh, as I've upgraded my apothecary over time, I wonder if he can solo the final boss in campaign. And I do want to do PvP as well, so this is this is kind of a mixed episode. So hopefully you like PvP. Uh, happy Constitution Day to Norway. It's it's where I live. Uh, N Norway. It's it's not yeah. Norway. Yeah, that's how you say it in in my in my accent in, in Norwegian. Anyway, yeah, you can join my Discord and all that stuff. But without any further ado, I wanna I wanna show you guys what I've done with him. First of all, uh, first of all, I've done a lot. As you guys remember last video, he was 15k power or something, 16k. He's now 27,000 power. I think it was like 16 or 17k last video, I don't even know. Like the before the guide, if I'd uploaded that before this. So I got a resistance banner on him. So now he has 78 resistance, he gets 14 speed from that banner. He gets some attack, some HP, it's kind of okay. Uh, that gave a lot of power, like that gave a crap ton of power. I also got him a better shield, uh, giving a plus 15 speed. Uh, so now he's sitting at a total of 244 speed instead of 235. His HP is already the same, his defense is a bit lower because it, it, yeah, he lost his <laughs> defense banner. Uh, and that uh, and that did, I also got better boots on him. Uh, that's another thing to keep in mind, I got better boots. I don't, I, I don't think there is much of a difference, they're just epic and they're giving resistance and everything like it's, it's kind of whatever. And then I put 5 star boots onto Gorgrab. Uh, which made him get five more speed. So now that he, now he is even faster with 190 speed, and then I got eight speed <coughs> on Tomb Lord because I did change over the shield I had on my apothecary over the Tomb Lord. So now he is at 182 speed. So I'm kind of working on the speed, but I'm very happy with apothecary speed right now. 244 is a pretty pretty mean amount. I I would like to believe anyway. I hope it's I hope it's okay. <laughs> uh, so. I have no idea whether Apothecary can solo it or not. This is a big question. Uh, he is he is strong against these bosses, but they're dealing a lot of damage. But then again, he's strong against them, and he won't get an improved defense here. These bosses will heal deal a lot. I don't even know if he can beat come to the boss, because he will just have to heal himself a lot. This is an interesting battle. He's a support hero. He's not meant to do this. He is not meant to beat these guys. But he should hopefully be able to. Because I don't think that they heal them they heal themselves. Which would be okay for me, I think. So I will heal them twice before they hit me. And I will be fine. And I can just heal myself if necessary. So currently he's crushing it. He's surviving. He's giving himself a lot of speed, he, de hitting the enemies twice before they're able to hit him. Uh, <laughs> this is such a random challenge, holy shoot. This is kind of ridiculous, man. I also have a Norwegian flag on the screen. Uh, don't mind me celebrating Constitution Day, even though I gotta work today. So he's still making it. My question is, how will he do against the boss? That's what I'm curious about, increasing his speed and then he will hit twice. And then he will simply do that and it will give himself even more speed. This is the question whether he can survive the boss or not. Because the boss will hurt, I think. But he's heavily resistant. He has a 140%, 140 resistance. He's very resistant, man. He, he has 140 of it, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, so he just killed one of the enemies. Now he's just healed himself. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm not... Okay, even if I beat this, I will try the final boss on stage 11. Because let's be honest, I'm weak to that boss and I will most likely not win. But yeah, he did manage to beat the last freaking campaign boss solo. As a support hero, he's not even a, he's not even a hitter, man. Apothecary for the win. Apothecary for the win. Now this is the true challenge. If I'm able to kill these guys... I don't know what I'll do. If, I, if I'm able to tank these guys and beat them... I'm weak against all of them. This will take a long time. I'm curious, will he be able to take him out? Because this, for my team, uh, especially for my heroes, my blue heroes, this is the most difficult dungeon. Uh, most difficult campaign battle. The final one on uh, stage 12 is kind of easy because they are green and I'm twice as strong against them. 
But as long as I'm able to survive and beat this, I will be happy for a very long time. And my suiting chance just, yeah, if I need to heal up, they, these guys shouldn't take me out. Technically, they, they shouldn't, and I should heal them twice. Uh, should, deal, should deal damage to them twice before they're able to do anything to me. And I, I just have so many turns, so I can do, I can regenerate whenever I want right now. If I want to regenerate, I can just do that right now, and I'm fine, and I will just hit him, hit him a bunch of times. So there we go, and now we're back at it again. Full HP for the next round. Uh, just uh, somehow surviving these guys. Now I will just do that, and I will just work on taking them out. Okay, now they're starting to deal more damage. It's okay, as long as they don't steal over 20,000, I'm fine. Uh, there I just healed myself 30,000, just becoming insane again. Uh, corrupting touch, it's okay, I took out one of them. The main, the main difficulty here is the final boss, I think that he will deal a lot of damage. Man, I got, uh, I got stunned. Man, I have 140 resistance and I got stunned from campaign. Okay, I guess it's, I get, I guess it's a possibility to get stunned. Uh, but he is definitely making it. This is the final boss. Uh, this is the most difficult boss for my heroes. Like, there's no more difficult bosses. Like, this is the most difficult boss I could ever face. Uh, especially... He's not even an attacker, is he? Is he considered an attacker? I think he's uh, considered a HP hero or a support hero. He's definitely not a, He's definitely not an attacker. Uh, I'm taking some damage. It's okay, though. I just healed, I just dealt damage three times. And now I'm just healing myself 20k, giving myself even more speed. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man, how good he is. Like, my Kale couldn't do this. Well, he, I guess he barely could. He, my Kale barely could do this. This is, again, without lifesteal. But my Kale really struggles doing this. And as you can see, Apothecary is just crushing it right now. He's, he's, just, he's just surviving. There's nothing more to it. Just look at how much damage he's dealing, holy shit. <laughs> oh man, this is too much fun. Apothecary OP. He's OP, man. He just, he, my Apothecary alone can solo all of campaign. If I can beat stage 11 there, well, I guess he would have issues with uh, lifesteal because they, they would just regenerate a lot, so I'm not sure he would deal enough. But he can survive anyone. He can survive anything, man. Apothecary just soloed, he can solo campaign, ba basically, almost. I'm just mixing him with, like, Ray or something, or a main hitter, like... Yeah, he's our support hero, and he can survive and take out the final bosses and the final campaign dungeons on Brutal. That's kind of fun, man. I do want better gauntlet. I do want better gauntlets on him. I do want higher speed giving gauntlets, so I just gotta grind Dragon a lot. And I'm not looking forward to it. But, <laughs> yeah... Apothecary being OP. Uh, this uh, I think this a shaman. I think I fought this guy before. And as you can see, as he gained power, my team power now is 113k, which isn't bad. With considering, well, I have two legendaries, so it's 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 okay. But now he has 244 speed, so he should be n nine speed. I think that's a pretty big, pretty big step up from 235 because when you get that high. Yeah, it, I think I think it's just very. I think it's just. Uh, I'm sure I fought this team before. I, I I feel like I've seen it before. Anyway, I think nine speed at this height of speed is very good. Uh, that's just my opinion. So, hope, hopefully I'm not mistaken there. Yeah, he's just he's just a very fast boy. Like there's no 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 don't no, no denying that. And I'm also curious, or I mean I'm I'm rather int. I'm very happy that they have it such as if you have 240 speed you should hit twice before someone with, with 120 speed that it it literally gives you an, another turn because you're so fast. I really like that feature about this game. Like I like I I love I love actually. I love most of the features of this game. It's a very it's a very it's a very well polished game even though they have their crashes and they have their issues. They they still have a lot of good things to them and I I really like that. Okay, so he just gave himself more heal. This should be an easy victory, though. Like, a very easy victory. Counter-attack is fine. Do your counter-attack. Do your continuous heal. Then I will remove those. Ah, never mind. I need a higher accuracy on my Ray. That's what I need. My Ray sucks. She da Well, she her damage is amazing. And they don't get me wrong. But her accuracy really does suck. Like, a lot. Let's give myself some speed. 
Uh, I will just uh, work on doing that. Yeah, this guy here is is Raptor tank. Yeah, I will have to. I will have to just hopefully do a lot of damage right now because he is he's just healing him, himself a lot right now, and my sk skills are on cooldown, and I b I'm barely doing any damage to this guy. Luckily, I did manage to remove uh, one of his heal buffs, which is good. But he's just he's just buffing him up, you know. There we go. And now he should he should die. So yeah, definitely Rain Beast is a good hero, and that seemed it seemed like the enemy hero had worked a lot on a lot on the Rain Beast because he definitely tanked uh, a lot of damage. He didn't take a lot of damage. He healed a lot. He didn't deal a lot. This team right here is a pretty cool team. They have a speed aura. So the question is, are is their apothecary quicker than mine? Do they have two forty four speed, or is mine faster? Thank goodness mine is quicker. And what I've seen many people do a mistake of, who has Apothecary, they focus their main speed on Gorgorab instead of Apothecary. And I'm grateful for that, but it sucks for them, because they should definitely focus on their Apothecary to just improve everyone's speed instead of just their Gorgorab doing uh, like an attack buff and then their team dying because they're, they're not quick enough. Just something to keep in mind, I suppose. Also, this team right here, team, they also have an apothecary. They sh probably shouldn't be strong enough to do anything, but we we may as well give it a. We may as well take a look here. Another thing I did do, I guess I should say, which I forgot to show you guys, I did upgrade a skill on Ray. Uh, that's something I did. So uh, I did finish arena challenges. I grinded a lot yesterday. Like I grinded so much, it's you have no idea. Like that's probably where my gems have gone. I managed to make all three level fives. I did the accuracy uh, off camera yesterday. It also buffed my accuracy by 10, which is amazing. I do want to increase accuracy even more, but it's becoming rather expensive and I do need more things to be level three uh, for the missions, which I have also done some of. We're getting closer to the sacred shard. Uh, but as you can see, let's see here. Upgrade two great heal hold bonuses to level four, so I need to I need to save up. How much is that? Uh, 200? Man, really? I need to 400? So yeah, that's something I need to do before... Um, before... which one is it? Uh, before something or another. Let's see here. Never mind. I think I'm done with the dungeons for this chapter. For this part afterwards, so I don't have to wait. And the dungeon mission I will be able to do on Sunday, which is in two days. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I, I'll show you guys what... Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm bad. Uh, so I did manage to finish out uh, Arena right here. So I did get the Legendary Tome. And I got kind of what I wanted. But I kind of regret it still. It would be nice to upgrade Banish even more to increase the buff and debuff chance. But still, this isn't bad. Because if I get this to level 4, hopefully, I mean hopefully, she will be able to take out enemies in the later dungeons with one shot on that skill because she can sometimes but if she doesn't crit or something goes wrong she doesn't do it and uh, that's kind of unfortunate because the battles are just so much slower uh, at that point clan boss uh, man i will be able to claim my rewards live i did uh, actually get an ancient shard no i got an epic skill tome yesterday from it which is kind of insane so i did manage to level allure skills a little bit more what what i'm curious about though uh, I've been grinding a lot for the for the freaking grinding event for the what's it called champion training event I have 4,000 points I've done it I got another epic skill tome there <laughs> so what I'm curious about who should my next six star hero be because I I do want to do well against fire knight castle like fire knight castle is something I've been trying to do a little bit more but I'm not doing it quick enough like well it's not too bad I'm doing it in, in 1 minute 16. I could probably even do it faster. Uh, I could mo probably do it quicker, the green one at stage 14, but I'm, but I'm not sure. But my point, my, my question is, should I make Allure my next 6 star hero? Should I make Nasana? Because if I make, if I make Nasana my next 6 star hero, I will get another legendary skill tome if, if I do that, because it's upgrade force champion to rank 6. So the bo the bonus, uh, the upside, would be to get a legendary skill tome to upgrade Nasana. But that's a lot of food just to make Nasana, just to get potentially a bad hero up there. However, Nasana is very good uh, in uh, Spider, so I could I could upgrade her and make her replace my Atoll for Spider. And I could pr potentially change their gear. 
Anasana would be there. But the, I'm, I'm not sure, because she will use her damn ally protection, which I don't need. I, I, I only need the attack all enemies, and on auto she will use Unholy Contract. Uh, which is kind of bad, so I'm not fully sure what I should do. Because I've, I've heard her her being quite good in Spider, like her, her ratings in Spider is good. Not that we're going to look here at them, because many people are saying it's wrong, and yeah, they may be right. But Nasana, should should she be my next one, or should Allure? So it's said more like, if I want to do well in Fire Knight, I should do Allure. Or if I just want to do better in Spider and get a Legendary Tome for my Ray, I should upgrade Nasana. Because I'm getting to the point where I can do that, almost. I have one 5 star. I have two 5 stars. I have three 5 stars. Uh, I have two ready here to be 5 stars, and that will be 5. So I just need... I don't need a lot of food now to be able to, to reach where I want to reach. Uh, to make another 6 star. The downside is I do need to keep these. I do need to keep some of them. Uh, the main reason being is I, I, I need it for missions. Because missions will be like, hey... Uh, uh, like, ascend a hero to 5 stars or something. Yeah, for example, like that. So I can't really make 6 stars yet, unfortunately. But that's unfortunate. Yeah, okay, well. Whatever. Uh, but please let me know. Also, that's not a bad weapon. It's just a 5 star. It's just a 4 star, but it gives speed and it will give even more speed. So that's nice for, for a potential speedy life seal set if I need it. Uh, yeah, so there we go. I got the speed thing. Let's, let's claim the rewards from the clan boss. That's what I want to do here. Let's click on you, hopefully get something useful. What am I going to get? I got two superior magic potions. It's eh, uh, a cruel set. That's not bad at freaking all, man. That's not bad. Crit damage, speed, accuracy, attack. That's, that's a great weapon, it really is. I don't have an attack percentage bonus, but... That's a very good weapon. It ignores 2%, uh, ignores 5% of enemy defense worth it. Because I'm sure I could put, I, I'm sure I could get another divine thing. Uh, let's see here. Let's 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 see here. Maybe this will be good. Because uh, th yeah, this weapon here is amazing. It already gives five speed uh, and all that. It or it has a lot of accuracy. So let me take a look here. So. Uh, let's head over to Divine Offense. We have uh, a shield giving 7 speed. It's kind of useless though towards everything else, but the speed is good. So 7 speed and I it won't give more speed. Uh, I can tell you that already because it will not buff that anymore. So that gives 7 speed. Uh, it doesn't give accuracy. How much does this give accuracy? It gives crit damage, which is unfortunate. And what about this one? This does not give crit damage, so that's not too bad. Uh, so cruel, isn't this the one? Yeah. So if I changed you over, I would have to get even one more equipment here. The crit damage one is obviously not useful. So I, unfortunately, I don't have another good cruel item. Uh, so I can't do anything with that. But that would have been nice. But the moral of the story of this entire video is, uh, we have an amazing support hero. He can solo campaign. We, we have done some arena, we've fought some people. This guy is a speedy boyo. He is a very he is a very speedy boyo with 244 speed. Crit damage. Crit rate is kinda low, but it's higher than it were before. I think this gives crit rate. Yeah, it does. And uh, yeah, his resistance is very high as well. 140 resistance. So he should he should be a resistance boyo, a five-star banner with resistance and speed. I think this is near. Uh, I think this is as close to a perfect banner as you can go. Like I could get, I could have gotten one more speed buff. I think no, I couldn't have. I genuinely, well, it, if it was an epic, well, small things aside, this is a near perfect banner, and then I just have this for accuracy. I've been trying to find some things which give speed here, but uh, I haven't bothered to level everything to level twelve because it's expensive in silver and it's kind of useless at the moment. It's not useless, but it's yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, the chest plate uh, is good. What I need is a better helmet, a better divine speed helmet, and I do... The bow could also be better, it honestly could. I don't know, if I find a better speed, pure speed, instead of divine speed, which gives more speed here, I may want to sacrifice a shield for even more speed. Uh, but that's just something, yeah, I'll, I'll have to figure out. 
But I would like to thank everyone for watching. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, happy Constitution Day to Norway. And uh, I will talk to you guys in my next uh, video whenever that happens. Which should be tomorrow. Okay, goodbye.